to my channel. I am so happy and excited to share this makeup look with you. So this is a very easy, a simple morning to afternoon glam makeup look. Yes, I'm calling it glam because I've got my lashes on. So if you decide not to wear lashes, it's completely okay. Just wanted to give like a little bit of quick ideas when it comes to such makeup look. You can use purple eye color, you can use blue, you can use green, you can use a maroon shade also uh, to blend the liner technique once you will see how I've done this and it looks just simply awesome. It's very easy, it's very quick. You know, it's something that I think every other woman who is in rush and who really wants to get some ideas when it comes to like quick makeup would actually, you know, you can actually pick and choose from the video what you wanna do, what you would like to skip. So sort of create your own little thing. Anyway, so if you wanna see how to get this look, please keep watching. We're gonna start with the eyes first and I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is self-made palette. And what I'm basically just doing over here is I'm just using these three shades and that's it. So you can actually use any palette that you have which has like a <laughs> chocolate brown color, bone color and a black, that's it. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm just gonna take a little bit of primer. I'm using by the Benefit, it's called the Air Petrol. I'm just going to dab a little bit. So then taking the fluffy brush, I'm going to start with the hot chocolate first and just take a little bit, tap off the excess. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of create like a C shape. And what I'm doing over here is that I'm trying to just contour my natural shape of the eye but you don't have to do that also so for example let's say you don't have the time to do this you can just move on to the next step which i'm going to show you but i will do this and then you take any flat brush and we're going to use the shade called buttery so it's basically like a bone color anything that is near to your lid you can use that and that's it. Just kind of start from the center and blend it with the brown. Very nice bright shimmery color. You can use a highlighter as well. We're just going to put it in the tear ducts so that it just pops out and your face looks nice, fresh and awake. So I'm just going to take a little bit and apply it here like this. Now taking any angle brush that you have, you will use this angle brush to create like a very thin line, just like a liner. We're going to use the black shade. So don't worry if it's not perfect because anyways we're going to blend the whole liner. So we're going to use the hot chocolate shade. And taking any flat brush, I'm using Sara Artistry. Then what you're going to do is you're going to place that brown shade on top of black and just blend it, wipe the brush and then smoke it out. So once you're done with this, then you're going to take the same angle brush and we're going to use it on my lower lid. Now this is optional if you want to do it. I feel like I personally don't like doing this because it just makes my eyes look smaller, just closes my eyes which I'm not very happy about, but then I thought I've never done this before, so it's an optional thing. People who, are, who have like nice big eyes can actually go for this and it looks amazing. Then the same technique, use the light brown and just blend, 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 blend. So okay, at this point you can use lots and lots of mascara and then you are good to go. But because I want to put my picture on Instagram, so I'm going to use fake lashes. It's completely optional, obviously, if you're Going out in the morning, you're not going to use fake lashes, but I am because I just don't like my lashes. I need something big. So I'm going to use my Huda lashes, and this is Farah. Okay, then I'm going to use mascara just on my bottom lashes so that, you know, my eyes look nice and big and awake. to my skin. So today what I've done is I've done my eyes first and I'm just going to do my skin. I'm going to use my Hydro Life BB Cream and this is by Dior. Just use any cream that you have. A little bit all around my face. And I'm going to use my hands because we're in a rush, remember? Quick, quick. <music> Oh, 
now comes the concealer part so what I'm gonna do is I will correct my under eye because this is something that I do on my daily basis what if I'm doing eye makeup that is so with a flat brush you're just gonna take a little bit like this both the eyes and we're gonna blend Okay, today I'm going to use NC30 by MAC and I'm going to apply it under my eyes, around my nose where there is redness, around the mouth area, just to brighten it up a little bit, and my forehead. And now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to dab the concealer. Okay, when this is done, I'm going to use my ring finger to blend out the crease. It's amazing to know that how your fingers are such an awesome tool for blending because with the heat of your hand, it helps the product to sort of sink into the skin very well. But this is what I do on a daily basis. If I use concealer, I just use my finger. I'm just going to take a fiber deal brush and I'm going to use my Sephora Bright Set Powder and I'm just going to put the powder just to fix it up. Okay, now comes the contouring part. On my daily basis, I just use this one and this is actually a blush brush. So the reason why you use a thick one is so that you don't get like a perfect, uh, a crisp, contour line this is not what you want on like daily basis or when you want to look a little bit casual but not like overdone so I'm gonna use my Kat Von D kit and I'm gonna use these two brown shades together it's gonna to be super quick you guys now I'm gonna use a blush this is hot mama by the bomb it's a it's such a beautiful orangey shade which has like um, a gold undertone and which actually has like a little bit of flecks of gold in it so it's so pretty it's one of my favorites from the bomb so what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna take this a little bit here again I'm not gonna do apples today for a change it's just to give a little bit of color. Now again, this is an optional part. You want to do it or you don't want to do it completely up to you. But I just cannot step out of the house if I don't have the highlighter on. If I do makeup, that is. So I'm going to go with a little bit of glow using Anastasia's So Hollywood. Just going to bring this on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to use Trendsetter Lip Contour by Huda Beauty. Then I'm going to use my Kaylin lipstick. This is number 43. Amazing lipsticks. I must say they stay for ages. Personally, feel like it's a little dark for the eyes. I'm just going to go lighter with my lips and I'm going to use God of Nudes, my favorite, favorite lipstick. This is from Anise. So I'm just going to put it in the center. So this is the final result. I am pretty happy and so proud of myself that I've actually managed to do something which was on a very neutral side, something light, because I was just going through my videos and I said, funny enough, but I don't have any neutral makeup because everything of mine is like, bam, glitter, just thick liners and thick lashes. And I still have my lashes on, but yes, you can just exclude the lashes. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to see you next time. Take good care of yourself. Stay safe and stay beautiful. Bye guys.